My name is Paul Rodden, and welcome to the Hydrogen Podcast. Then can you discuss the importance of standardization in the hydrogen refueling process and how OPW CES specifically contributes to that effort? So a bit of storytelling, uh, just to connect with what I was saying previously. So over the last 20 years or so, the LNG market, which is the closest in terms of operations to hydrogen, has struggled to activate that supposedly a new economy because there were just some clusters of companies working together. So it was a bit clunky and disconnected from the main regulatory bodies and the overall market. So at the end of the day, it was difficult to make a comprehensive plan to enable the LNG trucks and refueling at scale with these individual solutions. So imagine if you stop your car to refuel, but the nozzle is not compatible. So mm-hmm. how do you manage this complexity? You know, it, it really needs a joint effort from the private and, and the public companies, you know, to really put their minds into solve this issue. <clears throat> this process naturally brought challenges to bring costs down and, and achieve the technology maturity. Now that there is a broader collaboration in terms of uh, more players and more people in general looking at the same problems to be solved, the likelihood of having a much robust solution with less friction points is great, in my view. OPW itself, through our Rego team, has proposed a very strong package in this technical forum that collects decades of learning in the LNG refueling. And we understand a full spectrum of potential issues with the product interacting with the environment and users. So. We believe that by covering most of the potential failure modes, we have had a a great start. You know, we we are ahead of the game. We're not, again, starting from zero. And we are design protecting, you know, with all these solutions that accelerates the liquid hydrogen advancements. What technological advancements have been crucial in overcoming distribution challenges in the hydrogen economy? You know, that's that's a very good question. There were many technical challenges, let's say, to guarantee a robust design but the end goal is to maintain a tight and automated connection to reduce the operational risks. So the whole refueling process requires a full scan of requirements that includes the tank manufacturers, the dispensing companies, and, and the molecule producers. So we make sure all the technical aspects are covered at the intersection You know when we are refueling a truck. So our ultimate goal is to replicate diesel-like experience. You know, we want to minimize the cultural changes. So the the hydrogen economy itself brings enough challenges that if for a refueling process to work would require more steps and, you know, industrial level equipment, it would make the technology transition very difficult to to impossible. Hey, this is Paul. I hope you like this podcast. If you did and want to hear more, I'd appreciate it if you would either subscribe to this channel on YouTube or connect with your favorite platform through my website at www.thehydrogenpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. I very much appreciate it. Have a great day.